So I'm just getting out here for a service call for uh, basically a kitchen exhaust hood fan being down. Um, I know it's one of these two bigger ones here. Uh, I can hear that this one right here is running, so that one kind of is eliminated pretty quickly. So I know it's this is the one that I'm about to focus on. Uh, I know that they just had a company come out. I think it's every six months it's code here they have to have these things cleaned. Um, and they came out and cleaned everything. Um, so I'm gonna see if there's anything going on. I mean, they were like literally just out here like a couple days ago. Um, I think it was the day after they were out here the thing stopped working. Um, so, you know, obviously the first thing I'm gonna check here is the power at the disconnects, making sure I have power coming up to it. If my power looks good, um, then I'm gonna kinda get up here and pull this apart and see what I'm seeing. Uh, I mean, the good news is both these disconnects are left in the on position. Uh, a lot of times when you have someone coming out like that and you have a service call right after, it's usually for something silly like that where the disconnect was left off or power was left off. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and and see what we got going on. I know these swamp coolers here, there's one tied in to each of these systems. And I know the swamp coolers are winterized right now um, since it's winter. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my power and then go ahead and pop the top on this guy. Um, regardless if I have power or not, I'll probably get up there and still pop the top, just make sure the belt and everything looks good. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff uh, pulled apart and checked. So I just uh, got in here with my voltmeter. Uh, I tested my power on all three legs here um, coming in. I have no power coming here from the breaker panel. Um, I can see here too, there's fuses in here. I got different various fuses so I can tell this has been I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing they've been having some power issues out here if they're, if they're going through fuses like this. Um, I actually tested one of those fuses down there and one was bad, one was good. So I don't know how often any of that stuff's been getting done, but I can tell that's just kind of a red flag to me uh, that something there might be going on with power. Um, I got up here and uh, pulled the top off. And pretty quickly, I found, I mean, this motor, I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, you can see it there, like, definitely is fried. Like, it's just like melted the guts of the motor. Uh, it definitely stinks and everything too. So yeah, that thing has been completely fried um, as well. So I'll be writing this up uh, for a new motor. Um, I'll probably also get a new shiv and belt just to have everything kind of new um, here. And I might even also, just looking at this lead, I mean, I might have to actually put in a whole new lead there too, just cause if that thing is that melted, I can only imagine that the wires in there are just toasted too. So um, when I write that up, I'll probably attempt to do everything all at once. Um, at least have the stuff to do it if I need it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna write up here. I'm gonna talk to the, the maintenance guy here that's in charge and explain to him what's going on and see, see where we go from here. So I just talked with the maintenance guy out here and he was actually just explaining to me, I kinda brought up the fuse, the fuse thing I was talking about down there on the, the disconnect and about the motor. Um, so it sounds like there has been ongoing issues out here for the last couple years. It seems like shortly after every time they have everything cleaned, this motor goes bad. Um, I don't know if that's a coincidence or whatnot, but it's kind of an interesting trend that it seems like every time they have this cleaned, it's, this motor goes out. I guess it's been done, like I said, like in the last two years, I think it's been done like three times. So, I mean, that's really interesting. So I'm going to see if I can figure out anything with that. Maybe if they've had the same company doing it, if there's something that they're doing. Uh, I'm going to have him touch base with the company that cleans it just to kind of make sure uh, everything's ruled out with that. Um, that's where I met with this one. Um, 
we don't do a lot of kitchen stuff, but I mean, this one's pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. If anyone has any comments they want to add down in the comment section, uh, if they run into similar things or anything like that, um, I mean, I'd appreciate it. But uh, anyone else reading, I'm sure would appreciate it too. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and thank you guys for watching.